Why do people say that coil UVB bulbs are bad? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Mariah Healy, and I'm a professional reptile husbandry specialist and the author of Reptifiles.com. Compact and coil fluorescent UVB bulbs are like T5 UVB bulbs that have been twisted and folded around themselves to fit into a standard incandescent bulb socket. They are less powerful than T5HO or even T8 linear bulbs at the same distance and cover a smaller area than these bulbs as well. For these reasons, they are generally not very effective for most popular reptile species, and using one of these bulbs for UVB rather than a linear fluorescent is likely to result in the reptile not getting enough UVB. However, a well-made compact or coil UVB is not inherently a bad thing to be avoided at all costs, like people will tell you. Sometimes you need something smaller to provide UVB in a particularly small enclosure without frying the reptile inside. I found that compacts and coils tend to work well in small enclosures 12 to 18 inches tall and less than 24 inches wide. Examples of reptiles that might benefit from a coil UVB include morning geckos, smaller day geckos, and young crested or gargoyle geckos. These bulbs are typically available in two sizes, 13 watts and 26 watts. 13 watts is smaller and weaker, while 26 watts is larger and stronger. However, both should be replaced every six months to maintain effectiveness. For best results, use with a mirror polish fixture like the Exoterra Compact Top Hood and install sideways, not vertically. And of course, it's best practice to use a solar meter 6.5 to measure the UVI output at your pet's basking spot to make sure they're getting enough UVB exposure. For more information about UVB and professional reptile care advice, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a heart for the algorithm.